What's good, y'all? Your boy Zed is back in the building. If you see the title, How to Judge a Rap Battle for Dummies. Now, I'm pretty sure everybody has seen the movie 8 Mile or watched um, 106 in Parks, you know, Freestyle Friday. And me, besides that, I am a huge, huge fan of the uh, underground rap battle scene and, you know, rap battle promotion, you know, like um, Brian Tom, Smack, URL, King of the Dot, Don't Flop, and you know, a whole bunch of, like, you, um, the UW Rap Battle League. I'm, I'm just a big fan of, you know, you know, freestyle and rap battles, and uh, I even thought about getting into it myself for a little while, but y'all let me, alright, comment on this, um, on the side note, comment and let me know if y'all think that I should be a, a battle rapper, or if y'all want to see me freestyle and rap battle against somebody, I've done a couple on YouTube already, but anyway, y'all let me know if I should do more, but anyway, I'm making this video because I've been watching a lot more rap battles recently, and I'm going to start, um, judging you know, rap battles, you know, between the top tier battle rappers and a whole bunch of other, you know, rap battles that I think are hot. But anyway, the first thing to judge a rap battle on is, of course, punchlines, metaphors, your lyrics, your overall, you know, that's pretty much just the meat of it, I mean, because you can't win if you don't say anything, and um, it's basically um, how hot are the bars you spit, I mean, like, it's, and, like, how versatile can you be with what you spit, and is what you're saying, like, um, like, like how complex rhymes can you get, and how um, I mean, is is, is, it go, is the crowd gonna feel it? I mean, and how much sting is your, your punchline gonna have? He's like, ooh, like you know, you hear a hot line, and he's like, oh my god, it's like basically, what can you say in your line to make other opponents look like a damn fool? All right, the second thing is just a rap battle over. And this is the second most important thing: your flow and your delivery. I mean, you can have some hot bars. I mean, you can spit the most complex, you know out of this world type shit ever, but what's it gonna mean if you're if you spit it and you sound like a robot? I mean you can't have the same flow for every single bar you spit. I mean hell, you can rap about um if you spit something stupid, I mean, and it'll sound hot. I mean like if you deliver it right it'll sound hot like yo, know, I went to cut the grass outside right quick, then you know, I went on the toilet to sit and take a shit. Like you can say something stupid like that, but if you deliver it right the crowd will go, Oh oh snap, oh my god. Um but yeah, you know Delivery and your flow and how you put your words together is just as important as what you're saying. You know what they say. You know, it ain't sometimes it ain't what you're saying, it's the way you say it. Alright, the third thing, um, personals. Now, personals, I mean, it's like, you know, that kind of ties in with um, your lyrics. I mean, having hot bars is cool and everything, but if you actually bother to, you know, dig up the dirt on your opponent and, you know, you know find out more about them, it'll make you know, your lines a little bit more, um, you know, harder hitting, you know, that'll make you, I mean, if you just spit hot metaphor and stuff like that, or compare him to, or compare your opponent to this, you know, of course they'll look, they'll look stupid, but like, if you dig up some personal on them, then of course they'll look even dumber, so, yeah, personal, that also helps with the value. Number four, originality, are you not recycling your raps, are you, you know, are you spitting stuff that nobody spit before? Are you putting words together in a way that, you know, nobody else has done? I mean, because people say uh, bars over jokes, bars over jokes. I mean, but, you know, you see a lot of these guys still using the same played out gun lines, I mean, the same street rappers. You know, street rappers, you know, they rap the same thing. All the guns they busted, all the drugs they slung, all the bitches they fucked, you know, um, all the fights they been, you know, pretty much that. I mean, like... You gotta be more versatile than that. You gotta, I mean, you can't be no, if you're gonna be a battle rapper, you can't be one dimensional. So, yes, you gotta have originality with what you spit. And the fifth thing, crowd control. Now, I, this guy, this kind of has to tie in with delivery too, but I mean, like, of course, like, you, um, the crowd has to feel what you say. I mean, you could be spitting some dope stuff, your delivery could be on point, but if the crowd's not feeling it, if you have no kind of crowd control, then you ain't gonna win the battle. I mean, that's pretty much it. But anyway, those are the top five things, or those are the five criteria of how to judge a rap battle. You know, y'all can use this as a blueprint to, you know, watch rap battles and judge rap battle too. You know, you, you know, just about if you think the hype. But anyway, this is uh, me signing off. Oh yeah, and like I said, leave in the comments if you think that I should um, be a rap battle. Hype. Right, peace.